how to make a terrarium. Hey, welcome to Realms Work. I'm Max, and today's video is going to be on how to make a free terrarium with just little things you probably got around the house. So stay tuned, and we'll get to it. Firstly, you will need a bench space, somewhere to work, some tweezers, some scissors, some skewers, and a giant spoon. Ha, ah, just kidding. Some sort of spoon, or something that you can just use your hands, really. Fingers are the best. Then, some glassware. You can find a jar around the house. And here's a fun little fact. It can be just a little drinking glass or a beer bottle even. It got kicking around in the pantry, perhaps in the fridge. Here are some examples of what I found ramaging around. Here's a cookie jar. Here's an oil pourer. Beautiful with the light on it. Could look good empty. This is the crystal skull vodka that Dr. Dre dropped like a couple of years back. Beautiful bottle again, nice glass. It came in two sizes. This is a big handle. This is a peppermint grove. If you get a chance, get on some peppermint grove candles. The guy's stopped making them and he's probably a rare find at, these, at this point. So peppermint grove, check it out. Oh, my very favorite is maple syrup. How cool are they? Make little terrariums in them, they look awesome. Look at that little light. But today we are using a previous terrarium, funnily enough. They do need to swap out every now and then. Here's what we've got. I've cleaned it out, you wipe the glass, get a little glass cleaner. Yeah, nice and empty, brand new. Looks. Next, the ingredients. Yep, so here's the soil, some that I've grabbed out of the garden. It's quite simple, grab it, easy. Uh, the next one is coal, like charcoal. And funnily enough, you can just get this one out of your fireplace, if you've got a fireplace. Um, it's just some carbon to sit on the bottom. We'll explain a little bit later what that's for, but yeah, just charcoal or sand would even work. And third is the gravel. You can just get this one from your driveway. Everyone's driven on it, seen it before. Um, grab a handful or two and Wash it off with some water and put it in a cup, and there you go, that's what it looks like. Just some simple decorations, like some seashells that we've got here, or you can find some driftwood or anything like ornamental, even like a little figurine would work well. Here are some rocks that I found in the fish tank upstairs, and here are also some little rocks that I found, little colourful ones that belong to a vase that had flowers in it. You might recognise them. Lastly, we're going to need plants. So here are some that I've prepared earlier. These are just a couple of my favourites. But uh, the ones below just here, they're a little bit, a little bit longer and they just kind of stretch around. You can see how the roots go. Uh, but the moss is also a good one you can find. You can find the moss in any dark, shady area that was relatively wet. Um, yeah, it's really easy to find, just get a knife and pick it up off the ground. And now to assembling. So you've got your workspace, you've got all your stuff, and you've got your clean jar. I recommend grabbing a glove though, for this, just this bit, because the charcoal does tend to get a little bit dusty. And make sure you've got enough charcoal as well. I've obviously grabbed another cup. But yeah, put it in. And put it in delicately if you can, because it's going to just dirty the inside of the jar. Once you get the soil in on it, it's just gonna get dusty. So I'll speed it up for you. There you go, that's the charcoal and that's the soil. Yeah, the charcoal is just the carbon layer for the bottom. So when you overwater the plants accidentally, or somehow there's moisture that gets in there, it doesn't actually ruin the jar, ruin the, the, the life of the plant. It'll sort of absorb into the, the carbon offset at the bottom. Um, so then we add some gravel decorations and the plants to sort of weigh it all in. I'm going to speed it up again.
Feel free to just plot around. Some of these plants are cool. Try and pick off all the dead leaves, give it some good stem to live, otherwise it's just sucking the nutrients and life out of it. This one will grow great, even another one off. Yeah, we could, you'll tell, they, they come off quite easy. Oh yeah, there's some great plants here. Yeah, no, just your finger toes. You can spend years on this part. Tweaking it and fixing it and tweaking it, but yep, yeah, there we go. Some decorations, like these shells. Just some finishing touches. Voila. Looks great. But... Maybe some cheeky color. How's that looking? Yeah. All right. That was easy. And here are some results. Some I prepared earlier, obviously. The candles and the oil pours. Make sure you share the love though with your family and friends. Subscribe and like and yada yada yada. <laughs> All that nonsense. You can see the sun set a little bit, but same to do during the day. And at night, I suppose. But enjoy guys. Enjoy the new skill. And thank you so much for watching. Check out the finished product. That's the money shot. That's what we made, guys. Good luck. Please check out some more Realms World videos. Links are provided. Realms World.